Hey friends, it's Hal. Today we're going to do some chord videos here for you. I've got a sheet that I call more chords. It's really more open position chords. I'm going to go through the whole sheet really fast and just show you how to play everything, okay? And then I'm going to cut these uh, chords up into separate chord videos so that people can see them. I'm not going to tell you why they're these chords, I'm just going to show you what they are, and that's it. Here we go. First we're going to start with D major 7. D major 7, there's a D, what we do is we bring that note back a half step. This is the same chord that uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers did in Under the Bridge, it's a great chord. Do, right? This is a open D string. First string, second string, third string, all on the second fret, just like that. D major 7. Don't play the E string, don't play the A string, just play these four. E major 7. Okay, I'd play it like that or like that. Uh, e chord looks like this, but we're not going to play on this A string at all. We're just going to let that go and we bring this note back. So for this E major 7 chord, what we do is we play the E string, the D string, the G string, and the B string. The B string is open, the E string is open, the low one, and the G string and the D string are both on the first fret. So what we do is we play open E, first fret D, first fret G, open B string. And if you look at my right hand, like that, right? And you can use this uh, chord and go up the neck like that with it. It's really a great chord. Um, when I use it like an F major 7, I'm fretting everything. First fret right there, first fret on the B string, second fret, G string, D string. And I'm just playing those four strings. So that's an E major 7, and then you can move it up like a bar chord. Here's the next chord. We're going to do A major 7. So an A chord is like that or like that. If you've seen my video on the A chord, you know what to do. We're playing five strings. But on the A major 7, what we have to do is we have to bring that G string back a fret. This is a jazzy kind of a chord. So this is how we play it. We're playing five strings. And we can play that E string also. Okay, and I've got my first finger on the G string first fret my second finger on the D string 2nd fret, third finger on the B string 2nd fret. A major 7. Nice chord. Now we're going to do C major 7. Okay, and I'm playing, you can play 5 strings if you want to, you can play, you can play 4 strings. But what we do is we take a regular C, and we just lift our first finger. Just like that. So that B string is open, and the other strings are third finger is on the A string, third fret, second finger is on the D string, second fret, and everything else is open. And you can also play it like this if you want doesn't really matter. You can actually use any fingers you really want to. Okay, I don't care. C major 7. You've seen this chord before, I think, in another video. It's called D9. What we do is we play, there's a D, we just lift that finger up right there. We just open that E string. We call it a D9. Some people call it a D sus2. I always called it a D9 when I was growing up. We've got the 9 between the open E string and the D, just like that. Okay, just lift that finger. 
sounds really good when you lift that finger up and you play that D9, and then you put that finger back down to the D. Next chord, E9. There's our E chord, and there's our E9. I put my little finger, here's my E, I put my little finger on the second fret E string, just like that. E9. Okay, that's one way to play E9. There's a bunch of ways to play all the different chords, but we're just going to go with this. One of my favorite chords is A9. There's my A, there's my A9. Right? Some people, when they're trying to do their E minor, they put their fingers in the wrong place and they play this beautiful A9 chord. It's really great. The 9 is made when we've got that open B string and the low A. That's the 9. The interval of a ninth. Jethro Tull did a song called The Witch's Promise that started out like that. Let me over you while I call you a C9. Here's C, right? And when we bring that C note right there on the first fret up to the third fret, and I'm going to play it like this. This is a classic way to play C9. We've got these two fingers, you know, like we'd normally have on the C chord. This finger is on the D note on the B string, second fret. This finger goes on the G note, first string, third fret, like that. And we get this great chord, C9. And you've heard this before. I'll go back and forth, uh, like every rose has its thorn does this. They do that G5 and then they go to the C9. Every rose has its thorn. Every night has its thorn. Whatever the words are. C9. D sus4. What we do is we take a D and we put our little finger on the third fret of the E string, like that. And you get a D sus4. You've heard that before in classic rock. Okay, it's a very simple chord. It's playing four strings. You go, get your D sus4. You've heard this in. There's a Who song that does something like that. I don't know if it uses a, a D sus4. There's Jethro Tull songs, um, Led Zeppelin songs, just, I mean, you name it. There's so many classic rock songs that use that D sus4. There you go, D sus4. E sus4. Here's your E chord and you put your little finger on the G string second fret right under these two. That's your E sus4. Okay, we could probably come up with a bunch of songs that do that. I think Needle and the Damage done did that by uh, Neil Young way back in the day. Well, maybe we should teach that sometime. E, E sus4, back to E. A sus4, here we go. Remember our A chord? You take that finger, you move it up, and you've got an A sus4. The B string, third fret, A sus4. Okay. 
you know that sometimes I'll do my A with one finger like this, and then I'll put my finger down like there on the third fret, B string, to get that A sus4. I can't really do that very well. James Taylor likes to use this chord. Right? In his classic songs. So gotta know that chord. A sus4 resolves to A. Beautiful chord. We're gonna do a G sus4 today. So the G sus4, um, here's your regular G. If you know me and my chords, I don't like to play the G like this. I like to lift that finger up and just mute that A string and play the G like that. The G sus4, you need that finger right there on the B string first fret. And you can't play that B note at the same time because they clash, right? So we have to get rid of the B note on the A string, right? And that B note moves up to a C note, first fret B string. That's how we play the G sus4. D7 sus4. This is really an important chord if you're going to play You've Got a Friend. Right? Here's your D chord. Your sus4 is here. Your 7 is when we move that note down to the first fret there. So we've got. Oops. Okay, I found it again. All right. So we've got an open D string. Our second finger is on the G string second fret. Our first finger is on the B string first fret. And our third finger is on the E string third fret. That's where that D7 sus4 comes in. So it's like. Right there. That's it. And this, this finger is just hanging out. It's not really doing anything. G, C chord with that G note on top, D7 sus4. E7 sus4. Okay, here's an E7. Now, the sus4 comes when we take that note and move it to the second fret. It's on the D string. And our 7 is that open D right there. The We got the open E string and that D note, and that makes our 7. So this makes the 7th kind of low in the song right there. And that's our sus4 note. E7, sus4, resolving it to E7 sounds really good. Let's do an A7 sus4. A, A7, A7 sus4. Easy chord. I really love this chord. It's a wonderful chord. So what we do is we have our, uh, I use my third finger a lot on the third fret B string, and then my, my second finger on the second fret D string. Here's the A7 and the A7 sus4, like that. A string is open, second fret on the D string, G string is open, B string, third fret, E string is open. A7 sus4. It sounds really good when you relax it into the A7. Now we're going to do a G7 sus4. We did this one the other day, um, and I did a longer video on it, but I'm just going to do a really quick video on it. So we have our G chord, and it goes back to the first fret there, and our sus4 is the C note right there on the B string. So we got those two notes right there. 
G7, Sus4. I play all the notes. This A string is muted. It's been a hard... Now, you can use that chord for other things besides It's a Hard Day's Night. I just don't have another example at the moment. It's a beautiful chord. So if you do the G7, Sus4, and resolve that to G7, sounds beautiful. C7. Here's our C chord. There's our C7. We play five strings, just like a C chord, right? Regular C, and you put your little finger on the G string third fret. C7. Once you got that C chord down, and then you can put your little finger down on that G string, and you can get your C chord. And that C7 goes really good into the F. C7 to F bar chord. Or C7 to the other F chord. Let's do a G7. There's our G, right? Love to play my G this way. When you do the G7, this note has to go back to the first fret. I like to do my G7 this way. You could put this finger down on the, on the A string if you want to, the second fret. But if you know me, I like to mute that A string because we already have an open B string. We don't need two Bs in this, this chord. Makes it too B heavy. Just like that. G7. G7 goes to C very easy. Because it's the dominant. Dominant 7 going to a tonic. G7 going to a C. G7. We're going to do an F major 7. F major 7 is simple. In fact, it's easier than an F chord. Because all you do is you don't push down on the E string first fret. Your first finger is on the B string first fret. Your second finger is on the G string second fret. Your third finger is on the D string third fret, like that, and you're playing four strings, right? This is a Stairway to Heaven chord, right, or now if you wanted to do an F major 7 like this, you could do that. And this would be a really low F. And you only pluck, pluck the E string and the D string and the G string and the B string. And your fingers are on first finger, first finger is on the E string, first fret. Your second finger is on the B string, first fret. Your third finger is on the D string, second fret. And your pinky, your fourth finger, is on the G string, second fret. You cannot play the E string. Well, yes, you can play the E string. Because that's the seventh. But I don't play the A string. I mute it with this finger up here. I don't really play that E string because it's too much seven. Major seven. Nice, beautiful, jazzy chord. G major seven. Here's our G. What we do is we take that G note on the E string back a half step. You can play it different ways, right? I usually play it like that, let this finger just hang out. Or you could do it like this. I'm muting that A string with this finger. G major 7, very nice chord, jazzy chord.
Well, friends, there you go. I just did, how many chords did I do? 20 chords. Yeah, 20 chords. <laughs> On my sheet, I call more chords, which are more open position chords. Thanks for being here at Quail Studios Guitar. You can get me over at uh, quailstudios.com and support me over there. You can do it with PayPal. You can do it with Patreon right now if you want to. Let's see, is there any other way? You can send me a check in the mail. I'll give you the password to my lead sheets and to any other content that is not available to the general public. Thanks for being here. I appreciate your support. Talk to you later. Bye.